Hello, folks, and welcome to The Bend Show, where the work ends and the fun begins. Catch back if you can. Yes, that is me, your host, Rebecca Warner, a.k.a. Beck. As always, love hearing from y'all. Comments, stories, ideas. Get a hold of me anytime. Call or text 305-900-BEND. That is 305-900-2363. Or drop an email to bendradioshow at gmail.com. Producer and sound engineer, co-host Jeff Tigger Earhart. He's here too. I'm waiting for this whole work begins fun. No, work ends. What is it? Life is what you make of it, Tigger. (laughs) I'm just going to stop you right there. (laughs) Apparently, I'm making things fairly difficult. Yes, we're going to get into that in another Uh, episode. Once we let the cat out of the box and some other things we've been working on. We have a cat. (laughs) We have a cat. By the way, everyone, those of you that entered our Outdoors Gear Contest giveaway... Thank you. Yes, the contest is closed. And next week on the episode, we will be announcing who the winner was. Do we have a winner yet? Not yet. We, nope. Well, the we are still reviewing all of the submissions. Oh. There were a lot of photos. That was cool. You Very showed me a, cool. You showed me a few of them. They were super nice. All I can super say cool. is thank you so much, everybody. And as you continue doing luck, your everyone. travels and trips and adventures and, and just life on the ranch like us even... Keep sharing those pictures and tagging us at The Ben Show whenever you do. Today's spotlight shout out was actually turned into us by an aunt of this person here that we want to focus on, Kenzie Hommelvig from Bowman, North Dakota. This young lady, she was on fire at the North Dakota High School Rodeo Finals. She became the state champion in both barrel racing and pole bending, as well as named the girls all around. Kenzie will represent North Dakota at the upcoming National High School Rodeo Finals competing in, get this, Tigger, four events. She's going to be competing in barrels, poles, goat tying, and breakaway. She July. qualified in all four of those? You bet and she, she did. And she won which two? I heard she uh, the all around. She became state champion in the barrels and the poles, plus won the all around. I got to jump in there a little bit because the barrel racing deal, I think it's like it in a lot of states. There are a lot, a lot of entries. A lot, a lot, a lot of young, very, very talented young ladies, uh, young ladies that are in that. So mm-hmm. I didn't I didn't know. Congratulations, Renee. Renee is a close friend of ours, her aunt that yes. submitted this. Yes, actually, this you went to college cool. with Renee, didn't I you? I did go to college with Renee and her husband, Jay. Well, Team North Dakota will be heading to Gillette, Wyoming, July 17th through the 23rd. We wish everybody the best of luck. They need to call us and give us updates because we told Klinger that last week, yes, too. Yes, yes. Russ, Cammie, you paying attention. Renee, you paying attention. Jay, you paying attention. Call us and give us updates. Now, I challenge everyone, just like Renee did, if you hear of something spotlight worthy to send us those pics, info, and tag at The Ben Show on social media. You might just be our next spotlight shout out or even as a guest on this show. Sit back and enjoy the news. I've got lots to share today, so sit back and enjoy. First off, we head to Cambodia, where the world's heaviest freshwater fish, a 661-pound stingray, was recently caught. Researchers say this giant 661-pound stingray was caught in a remote fishing village on the shores of Menang River in Cambodia, making it the heaviest freshwater fish ever documented. And this was just recently? Yes, in the last week. The 13-foot fish dethrones the former record holder, a 646-pound catfish found in northern Thailand in 2005. The mass of 661-pound stingray was weighed, tagged, and released. That I didn't think stingrays, weren't they in the ocean? That's what I thought. That they're not freshwater? Apparently they are. Taiwan, would you eat chicken nugget ice cream? Yes. <laughs> chicken nugget ice cream has gone on sale in Taiwan. The vanilla ice cream nuggets are coated with a fried chicken crust and corn flakes. Each tub sells for $5.44. The tub, by the way, I took a look into this, is made of plastic. However, it has the same red and white striping to make it look like a bucket of KFC. I'm not entirely out on that. <laughs> I'm not entirely out. I'm just saying. All right. Now we're coming back over the ocean. Louisiana. Is everyone in the vehicle buckling up? Eric Champagne is planning to sue the Washington, Louisiana police because he received a ticket for his dog 
not wearing a seatbelt. A fellow driver reported Eric to the police for swerving on a highway. Officers tracked Eric to a family dollar store where he was given a citation for careless operations and no seatbelt for a dog. Eric did not complain at the time because he did not want to be jailed nor have his French bulldog sent to the dog pound. That's got to be one of them funny stories like the local radio stations do. That can't be real. <laughs> Illinois. I'm, I'm crossing my arms. I'm pounding this. A Chicago me. restaurant called Wahoo Sushi is going viral because they serve Cheeto Puffs Sushi. Now, we're, su- we're sushi eaters. Tigger I'm and liking I are. this deal. <laughs> The manager says, our cheese crunch special roll where we basically take Cheeto puffs and then we crunch them up and then layer our sushi with Cheeto puff crunch. That dusting of crunch sits on a roll filled with salmon and crab. I am in on that deal. The the (laughs) ice cream and the McNuggets and now we got Cheetos and salmon and sushi. What more could you want in life? And then you you seatbelt your dog in. (laughs) Lastly, (laughs) Tennessee, where a 90-year-old woman brawls with bears. 90-year-old Altha Williams from Seaverville, Tennessee, recently brawled with a bear. The woman was sitting on her porch when a mother black bear and her three cubs approached her. The woman picked up her lawn chair and tossed it at the bears. The mama bear lunged at the woman and scratched her before running off. Thankfully, the woman is okay and has a tale to forever share. That's a wrap of the news. We have more of the bend right after this. We're going to be sitting down and talking about what travel to expect during the 4th of July holiday, as well as some tips and hacks to make it better. This is Beck. First, I appreciate all of you for listening and making The Bend part of your week. Many of you have asked, how do I catch past episodes? The answer is super easy. Head to thebendshow.com and click on the shows tab. There you can listen to every episode all the way back to episode one. Podcasters, head to your favorite podcasting app and search The Bend. You'll find us. Be sure to follow and subscribe and never miss another episode again. Passionate about hunting, conservation, learning, and encouraging others? Watch Buckstorm on YouTube. Weekly videos about what it's really like hunting the Black Hills. Regardless the trophy or left empty-handed, Buckstorm on YouTube shares the real stories. Subscribe today, Buckstorm. It's super easy to get a hold of Beck, and we want to hear any story that you may have or just what's happening around your band. 305-900-2363. That's the hotline. Leave a message. Send a text. 305-900-2363. Add a little heat to those burgers and brats. Add some Mickey's mustard or some Mickey's hot mustard to your summer cooking. Ain't nothing like it. Mickey's mustard. That's M-I-C-K-E-Y-S-M-U-S-T-A-R-D dot com. Mickey's mustard. Here is how we are changing things up on the bend. The fruits of our labors to the frying pan. We put those recipes to the test. Now, over the next few months, we're going to be testing out your submissions. Will we survive? Tune in next week. Welcome back, everyone. This is Rebecca Warner, a.k.a. Beck with The Bend, and Jeff Tigger Earhart is here with me. I wanted to share what crossed my desk from AAA. They are expecting the 4th of July travel weekend to be among the busiest in history, or at least one of the busiest in the last 20 years, despite the historically high gas prices. The agency, get this, they're expecting 47.9 million Americans will travel at least 50 miles for the upcoming holiday. That's nearly 2 million more people than the year before. I can see that. I can see most people trying to get out and get away Mm -hmm. for a little while, especially if people are taking a few days off around the actual Exactly. Well, and AAA says that people are ready for a break. And despite things costing more, that people are finding ways to still take that much needed vacation. I'm one Tigger's of them. Tigger's got his hand in the air. I'm one of them that's ready <laughs> ready for a break with this whole, when the work ends and the fun begins, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for that moniker I, to I've come noticed the hand. on my lap and I've say, noticed yes, the hand. There's even been paddles. Then one day I saw life jackets pulled out in front of the shop. Then but I saw. <laughs> we are changing our jam a little bit over the 4th of July, because we are not doing the Cowboy Christmas this year. We're shutting the microphones off. We are. We're not, I'm not doing the announcing. You're not doing the music directing. We are going to be at the lake. The tunes. We are going to take a little time off and paddle 
and fish and, and roast marshmallows. And ro- well, I'm not the marshmallow <laughs> thing, but in cook and eat and be with family and friends. Um, yes. I think it's going to be awesome. I'm looking forward to it. Well, in order to kind of help everyone else, we wrote down, or I, maybe, I don't know, Tigger, did I even show you my list yet? But these are a few Girl, travel hacks me- oh. for camping and well, you know, more than camping, too, because some of these we use in our normal travels, because as many of you have followed Tigger and I, you never know where you might catch us. Oh, my gosh. Tigger's hand in the air again. Now, when you say these are camping hacks and travel hacks that came across your desk, I'm going to throw a little flag and say, uh, uh-uh, I'm going to snap that flag because I bet dollars to donuts that these are all my hacks that I do that I've set up in your backpack. Carry on. Just well, carry, I know for a fact we this just first see. one is not one. I'm the one who brought Try this me. into this house. Try me. Roll your clothes and be sure to bring along a clean, empty garbage bag to throw all said dirty clothes into. That is absolutely yours because I never. <laughs> do. I always stick them in my boots. There. Boom. That's not a bad idea either. <laughs> Another one is always bag your toilet paper. You're looking at me laughing. What? Well, there's no point in worrying about the rain drizzles or recently we've been having a lot of humidity where we're at. A lot of people don't do that if you're jumping on the kayak or the boat. Just put the TP in a plastic a bag plastic and be bag. done. Genius. <laughs> okay, you can have that one too. All right. As we get older, we we become a little bit more of divas when we're sleeping, especially if we're camping in a tent or something like that. But some of those air mattresses are a bit pricey. So what I'm suggesting is, is instead of buying one of those, otherwise give a try to one of those cheaper pool floaties. Try one of those or at least have one with just in case wherever you're going for your outing, you end up staying over. At least now you have a pad to sleep on. Can I add to that? Yes. Before you throw the pad down, make sure that your tent is not on some rocks or sharp ground or something. So if you're using that... That pool floaty that sometimes they puncture really easy. That's the thing. Just they do m- pop a hole easily in just those. Just make sure it's on a nice flat surface. Mm-hmm. But a, a, a good economical way maybe just to try something that's around the house versus going and purchasing said item. Perfect. Now, this works great to this next one for whether you either way, if you're camping with a tent or say you have an RV, the thought is to bring along a foam floor. Those floor tiles that you sometimes buy in the kids section for where their toy area is, or maybe you buy them in the area where your your exercise equipment is. Yes. Well, get a pack of those and put those on the bias of your tent to make it a softer. So like if you don't get every rock and stick moved before you put your tent down, you'll now have a little softer space. I like Otherwise, it. I'm saying for the camper is there you go. You have a rug now you could make right by your your footsteps going into your camper. I like it. Doesn't take up a lot of room. Good packs idea. up easier. You can have it. Okay. All right. Here's always a big one at night. Some people like to have you know, a night light or something like that. So you aren't stumbling around in the dark, but you don't want a bright, bright night light. Take a jug of water and that, that handy, handy, uh, you know, headlamp Tigger, you're always making sure I have like five of them packed, right? <laughs> Strap the little bugger on the water jug and nope. it will glow nicely. Nope. I'm putting my headlamp on, I'm turning it on, finding it in my way. So I'm saying no on that one. Well, Not you know one. where my headlamp's going to be. <laughs> All right. Anybody who's ever unrolled a sleeping bag and can't get them rolled back up again into those little strings and ties it comes up with, don't fret anymore. Just get yourself a kid belt. It works great. Great idea. Doesn't take up much room. I like that. Here's another one that we started doing. Say you like your own space or an additional room when you're out camping. You want to keep your stuff closed up. Tigger and I came across this last year and realized that the kids tents that they make like coleman makes a a tent for kids Mm -hmm. we went and we measured it and actually ended up buying a couple of them along with the adult two-man size tents only to find out they're the same tents half the price absolutely that is heard me right hack ever when we did that they literally not just half the price i mean sometimes they're like 50 60 percent cheaper they're the same size and maybe it's just 
it's they're just maybe, maybe a kid color, it's a, right? That's yeah, all it is. But now, like now, what Genius. we love about it though, too, and the Throw kids one in there. is some of them have pockets inside of them that the adult versions don't have that's right we found and that now out, you can we? throw your headlamp that you didn't want to put on my water jug in the said pocket but regardless they do work really well to store your extra gear if you can't fit it all in the tent that you're sleeping in or if you're traveling with somebody else and you each want your own space it works perfect cool another idea this last one i'm excited for us to try i haven't tried it yet ourselves but I think we're going to try it this this 4th of July. And that is to, a way to keep your tent cool is to use a reflective blanket on the roof. Put it on the top. And in theory, it'll reflect the sun back up and keep your tent cooler inside. I'd like somebody to try it, which is probably going to be We're, we're going to try this. It works. I'm idea. excited to report back on this one if it's going like to work. It. Okay. Last one is is it's always fun to These have some games. These aren't all mine ideas. These aren't all mine. I know. I'm waiting for you to finally I'm, I'm, admit that. Okay, Beck, you did your job. There was no ne- reason, excuse me, for me to throw a tantrum. <laughs> but I'm kind of the hack guy. I I'm the one. Can who I inter- throw out my last idea with a game? Sorry. Okay. Well, we know there's all the fun outdoor games that get sold bocce ball to whatnot. But here is one that it crossed my mind when you're thinking it doesn't take up a lot of room, but with a lot of wind, I know where we're at lately, it's been a lot of wind. So playing cards, things that we love to do, almost it seems impossible. So just bring Yahtzee with. Just Brilliant bring idea. Yahtzee. You, everybody's got dice a cup and of a some cup. sort. That's all you need. You don't even you're need the cup. Go. Just dice and the little score pad. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Gee, are you sure? I didn't think of that. <laughs> Should have thought of that. One. All right, everybody. Stay with us. We're going to make our final bend after these few sponsors. We're going to be coming back with some ideas of recipes that the whole family will enjoy. Are any of them hacks? Go to break. <laughs> Buckstorm Hunts offering Black Hills guided rifle and archery hunts on over 1 million acres for deer and turkey and for South Dakota residents, elk and bighorn sheep too. Hunts are limited. Book a hunt today. Head to buckstormhunts.com. Our shows, well, they're your shows. Is there something that you'd like to hear? A segment perhaps that you would like to have a little more often? Like something, don't like something, it doesn't matter. Let us know. Call the hotline, email us, or message us on social media. We love hearing from y'all. The calendar has been marked, your aim is on point, and all that's missing is the clothes to take you to the next level. The teleoutdoors.com specializes in clothes that fit, wicks, and move silently while providing comfort and durability. The teleoutdoors.com. Do you want to promote your product or your event? You want to get in front of the right audience? You want to make your business grow, take it to the next level. You know you need more, and that's where Beck and I come in. We can help. Drop us a message and find out more today. Waterfowl, turkey, deer, ToxicCalls.com offers all of the various styles of calls needed to take your hunt to the next level when you create quite simply the most real sound yet. American made to boot. Order today, ToxicCalls.com. Little Rack Taxidermy. Be it a youth's first hunt or a trophy of a lifetime, let it be something you always remember. Reach out to Little Rack Taxidermy on Facebook and have Heather bring back that natural look. That's Little Rack Taxidermy. Welcome back. We're making our final bend. This is back with the bend and Tigger is here with me. Now, I know we shared some, they were supposed to be our tips and hacks for the camping and they ended up being a little bit more of mine. So I thought before we get too further, too far out there, I didn't want to leave Tigger behind too much and let him share <laughs> some hacks and tips he might have for if you oh. are that first ever Dutch oven cooker oh. so that before you head out to the field or out to your big 4th of July celebration thinking, I'm going to be camping, I'm going to Dutch oven cook. I, If I remember right, you have some great ideas to do before you leave. Use it. <laughs> no, seriously. <laughs> I mean, it's they're not... A Dutch oven is the easiest Take it out of the box. Take the plastic off of it. <laughs> yes. Use the darn thing. Get used to what it feels it's like. It's not scary. It's not. Get. Uh, I always say you need to make sure that you have a lid lifter. Oh, that's a great one because yes. they're, they're heavier and awkward in a way you wouldn't they, they expect are. them to be. They are. Especially yeah. when they're really, really hot. And when you're using the Dutch oven and you've got a bunch of embers on top, 
you don't want to just have a welding glove on, which there you go. There's another, you know, little hack I do is have some welding gloves with you. But those, uh, a lid lifter, but use the darn thing. Take it home, use it. Do not use soap and water on it to clean up. Absolutely a no-no. I think everybody kind of knows that. Yeah, that's a good one. Is there any pre-seasoning you should do to a dish before you use it? Okay, some of these come seasoned already. It just kind of depends upon the brand or, you know, some of them are ready to use right out of the box. So I highly recommend take them home, use them, make stuff, cook stuff, so that when you get to your, if we're talking Fourth of July and your holiday and Mm -hmm. you're trying to have some fun with everybody, you're not spending all several hours cleaning your Dutch ovens and doing this and doing that. You want to, the, the whole point of it is to enjoy the experience of the Dutch oven cook. And that's what everybody loves. Like when I Dutch oven cook, they want to, they gather around and uh-huh. watch me with the fire and all of and that. And we all know how it all tastes better when it comes from the campfire. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I okay. Mean, amazing. Share yeah. with everybody one of your go to Recipes that makes you look like a rock star no matter what. Cobbler. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, any cobbler. I'll agree. It's so you need easy. Four Anyone ingredients. Can make this. Here you go in about 30 Guys, seconds. Write this down. Here's what you do you grab a, uh, if you really want to make a good, grab a stick of butter, Everything's melt it in butter the, with butter. Absolutely. Melt it in the bottom of your Dutch oven. Add on top of that your favorite can of pie filling cherry, blueberry, apple, doesn't matter. On top of that, sprinkle. Now, don't mix now. Sprinkle on top of that your favorite cake mix. I like the yellow cake. Myself, we've used red velvet cake, but sprinkle that on top of the pie filling. This is so good. And then the last thing I, and some people quit right there, but then the last thing that I do is I will take a can of like Diet Sprite or Diet 7-Up or even Diet like Dr. Pepper, and slowly pour that over the whole mixture. Don't mix it. And then throw her in the fire. Put the lid back on it. Put the lid back on. You want two times the amount of heat on top versus the bottom. Every 15 minutes, check it. Turn your pot a quarter turn, your lid a quarter turn, opposite direction. And about 20 to 30 minutes, you're done. You're a hero. Tigger's Cobbler is ready to be served. Oh, it's awesome. It is incredible. I mean, it'll give you a heart attack. <laughs> it'll make your arteries clog. Don't do what Tigger and I do, which is eat an entire cobbler oh my God. by ourselves be- in one sitting. Because as we said, you just ate an entire it serves box eight. cake. It serves eight. You wouldn't <laughs> think, we may or may not so have done this more good. than once. <laughs> hey, one last thing if I can add to make cleanup really easy. Mm-hmm. You may want to line that Dutch oven with some aluminum foil. And you can actually get Dutch oven liners. It just helps with the cleanup versus really then you got to get in there and you got to scrub. Not with soap, just warm water. Excellent, excellent tips. I mm-hmm. love it. I like it. Everybody give it a try. Post your pictures and let us see oh. how it turns out for you. Here's one last quick one that'll get the kids involved. I love using this one with my nephews. And that is think of making a s'more bar You know, I'm talking about all the little goodies that you could put on marshmallows and stuff like that. But we're going to switch it up and use ice cream cones to hold the marshmallow after it's been roasted. What is this? Yes. What is instead of a graham cracker? Think about this. this. Sorcery. I like to spend a little more, little couple extra pennies and get the waffle cones. But take the waffle cones, have them all ready, and then have. You know, you could have chocolate chips. You could have little bits of peanut butter, Reese's peanut butter cups, things the like that. The waffle cone so holds the ooey gooey. You got it. You let the kids roast the marshmallows. What is this sorcery? And then inside their little cup of, their, sorry, their little ice cream cone of all the yummy goodies and stuff in it, they put their marshmallow on top of it like you would a scoop of ice cream and let them go. So do you, can you warm these up in the campfire? I mean, obviously you can. Well, you could actually, and you don't have to have a campfire. That's the other awesome thing about this. If you did, say you're in an area that's drought and you have fire restrictions, think ahead. Can't have open fires Right. Or you could do this ahead of time too. Take some tin foil and put whatever you think the kids would like inside of their ice cream cone and then... On top of it, top it with some marshmallows, put everything in tinfoil, put it in the oven for a little bit, heat it up, and voila, oh. you've got 
Marshmallows on the go. What is this sorcery? You've never done this before. I just do things when you're not around. Apparently, <laughs> you're doing a lot of things when I'm not. That is a really, really super cool idea. Post Apparently, your I'm pictures. We want to see how your 4th of July goes. Folks, if you have a field update, a topic we should investigate, a different recipe, or a tale of your own to share, send it this way. Call, text 305-900-BEND. That is 305-900-2363. Or email bendradioshow at gmail.com. Social media, we're everywhere. Facebook and Instagram. Follow us at, that's A with the circle, The Bend Show. Thank you to my producer, sound engineer, co-host, Jeff Tigger Earhart. Next week, we'll announce the winner of our huge contest gear giveaway, so stay tuned. As y'all keep making those memories, be sure to keep sending in those pictures by email and always tagging at The Ben Show on social media. Hunting, fishing, camping, hiking, to ranching, farming, to your rural way of life. We want to see it all. We want to see and hear those memorable moments. Missed this episode? Find all of our shows on the website, thebendshow.com. And be sure to subscribe on your favorite podcasting app. Booking events now. Change things up and have us, Beck and Tigger, help you with your event. From MCs to entertainment to acting as host couple, let us make your gathering extra special. From ranching, rodeo, cattle, hunting, fishing, camping, and so much more, thank you to our partners. Detelli Outdoors, Shurkan, Sasquatch Survival Gear, Little Rack Taxidermy, Mickey's Mustard, ToxicCalls.com, Wabalo Creek Outfitters, Women's Fishing and Outdoors.com, Ranch House Coffee, RFD TV, and the Cowboy Channel. Finally, a big thank you to all of you listeners out there that came along. And whether you're coming or going today, stay with us as we ranch it up. Remember to keep up with me, Beck, all week long by following The Bend on Facebook and on Instagram at The Bend Show. This is Rebecca Warner. Catch Beck if you can next week on The Bend. <laughs>